Hello there. I have a habit of saving off screenshots that commanders post sometimes and and just keeping them in a folder until I'm inspired to paint them. And this is one I've been keeping for a little while. I'm in the lucky position of being able to get the person who took the screenshot to, to speak about it for me. I think that always is better. Anybody who knows my videos and is aware of my little niche in the Elite Universe will also be very familiar with this voice, so I won't even bother introducing him. Hello, this is Commander Wotherspoon. One of the lovely things about the Elite Dangerous Galaxy is that if you take the time to zoom in from the galaxy and the star system levels we normally work at and look at the planets really close up. You stand a good chance of finding something really spectacular. This became especially true in May 2021 with the release of Odyssey. In addition to becoming able to land on planets with thin atmospheres, Odyssey introduced much more detailed planetary surfaces instead of mathematically generated height maps. We now had deterministically placed rock scatter, biological features and also some very large features that were visible from space. The most characteristic of these large features were huge craters, perhaps 50 kilometers across and 5 kilometers deep. In April 2022, about a year after the launch of Odyssey, Commander started showing pictures of these huge craters overlapping each other, or of large craters nestling within even larger craters. As one of the roving reporters for Galnet News Digest, I headed out to Uchost MR-CD0 Planet 6, where there's a notable example of this phenomenon. It's quite a striking planet. The ammonia atmosphere looks green from space and is blood red from the ground. There's a beautiful and absolutely enormous crescent-shaped valley where the two craters overlap. This picture was taken during that trip, but nearby on an icy world in another one of these huge craters. This is just one huge crater. There aren't any other huge craters inside it but it's spectacular enough anyway. I was struck by the, the glassy iciness of the mountainous crater walls and the way the light from the star created a blindingly sharp contrast with the deep shadows. The deep blue atmosphere made it feel almost alpine. I parked my crate phantom just inside the crater rim to try to appreciate the immensity of the feature. Its size is really impossible to capture in a picture, but Betelgeuse has attempted to capture the scene as I stand on what appears to be a low moraine ridge within the ice crater. She's done a pretty good job of it, I think. But if you get the chance, it's, it's still worth travelling the galaxy to see what you can find for yourself.